Nii, salvestab. Kes teeb samu meike clap, please? Cut one. Järgmine jääni. There is a dog, there is a dog. The ambient, kukku muure ambient. Okay, so this is the thing. Wow. The cock grass ambient number one. What? What? Actually, it sounds very nice if you do that. Sounds? Yeah, but you need to listen to it with the earphones. You can try it later. Okay. Kukumuru <laughs> festival. The weather is good. Check out point. Even the dogs come. One of this side is here. Oh, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> oh, okay. Now it's totally different nice. experience. Wow, yes, now I'm totally now it makes sense. equipped. It's <laughs> good. Because this is Kukumuru, that's why. So Rodian, what's the situation? I think we could uh, put our tents here, this is a very nice spot with the trees and uh, close to the fire so because down there there's like a bit of um, wet uh, mud on the ground and ah, okay, uh, okay. it's not so cool. Okay. But toilet is usable and uh, it smells very much but uh, it kind of reminds you of the country side life. It smells already? It's just the beginning. It's not the beginning, it's here always. It's like the, you know, the local the special. Hmm. So what is uh, what is our next step? Reconnaissance is done. We maybe we should go back to the to the event area. Maybe, maybe we should get yeah something warm to drink and uh, yeah. but then I, uh, I left my wallet in the car. My everything <laughs> is in the car. <laughs> yeah my um, yeah my wallet is also in the car. I like but my wallet is on. here. So. <laughs> Challenge complete. <laughs> Basically. Ooh, we are getting there. Yes, you look great. It matches your raincoat. All, all is planned. <laughs> I don't know. So, what did you manage? Yes. Do you understand how to get in? <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> well, yeah, it's good. It's actually, uh, yeah, the door is accessible from here. Okay. The side, side roll. The, the inspector approved. Our inspe inspection approved Today the way of safety is okay for this day. <laughs> fire safety test passed. <laughs> 
I will sleep for the first time in this kind of tent for one person. Usually it was one or two, three, two, three per person. Yes. Now it's just me. Okay. Wow, actually not that bad. But I wonder when I wake up, I would be thinking, well, <laughs> what the fuck is this? It's very interesting to see what are like uh, different. Uh, different ways how people put their tents up or different mm -hmm. uh, strategies that they have like which spot is a good spot <laughs> I don't know yeah <laughs> it's kind of interesting like why did they put it there I'm wondering but there must be some reasoning behind it yeah. but they thought that this is this is the best place maybe they want to play volleyball yeah maybe it's actually also place to play volleyball <laughs> hmm. Nobody's playing. Meie laiv oli pikk nagu Eesti sügis, no, mis on ka suues sõdunud. Aga muusis, no, meil pidi muuska Viktorin kohve tuleb, aga vaata silma, pole selles kindel. Andres, nüüd sina vastad küsimusele, et siis sa saad meie järgmise vinyülplaadi tasuta pujundada, kui selle küsimusele õigesti vastad. Et kumbe siis oleme nüüd, mida lehes kirjutas, kooti, rock või postpunk? Variant B. Postpunk ka? Noh. Siis Müri lähti kirjutus valesti. Aitäh kõigile! Okei, so where do we go? Take this as well. Someone give up the headphones. Uh, ah, ii. One, two, okay. Can you hear? Yes, yes. Of course, yeah. So what do we do now? We have a bunch of people here who seem very chill, everyone. Uh, in their inner space. There is even a dog. A small interview. We wanted to ask you a few questions. Yes. Uh, so, uh, how do you feel about the festival? I am present uh, for, for now for seven years here. Seven years? This festival. Oh, okay. So, yeah, in what, a row. was it different before? Always uh, different. Yeah, I, I mean, well, uh, maybe it was bigger or. No, 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 the same size, uh, this festival uh, keeps uh, the same size, uh, as, as small, as, no, as small, not a big festival. Okay. Um, all the uh, same bit, uh, about uh, 300 uh, to 600 uh -huh. people. But uh, what do you find special about it? Why do you come here? I am ambient fan. Simply not. Uh, hey guys, sorry, do you mind a small interview? Okay. Just a few questions. So, how do you feel <laughs> about the festival? Um, it's uh, it's quite interesting uh, as every year. So, uh, and the weather is as it is, and uh, but uh, I don't uh, mind. So, so it's nice to be here. 
Uh, and uh, any other festivals you're attending this year? Um, there is one, but I don't remember the exact name uh, right now. Here in, in Estonia? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, but uh, but it's not the ambient, so it's like more uh, like uh, pop music, like Estonian artists and uh, some kind of yeah. But uh, usually, do you go to any other festivals if it's like normal year, not quarantine? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm very picky, so uh, so it depends on the festival and it depends on the artists. So uh, if it's if I find something interesting, so uh, so then I. Definitely yeah, participate. So. Wow, people swimming. People swimming actually there. Ooh. Nice to Hello. Hi. Yo. How do you feel about this festival? What? Like, how do we feel about this oh, festival? Oh, um, I mean, it's kind of sleepy. Yeah, it it's is. It's nice. Yeah, but you're privileged. You like check tickets, and still you have a chance to enjoy everything. You you see the scene. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like it's true. But we we were also the people that you know put the stuff up here, like the day before. Like we came here yesterday and put up the tents and stuff. We were up until like 2 a.m. and then we w woke up at like really early, so yeah. we're kind of dead. But it's yeah, nice. It's cool. It's cool. Uh, are you actually volunteering or earning yeah, money? Yeah, we're volunteering for the second year in a row. Mm -hmm. we were last okay. And uh, before that, it was different location. Uh, the location was different. It was in like a like an old manor house uh, next to a river. It was really pretty. But this place is sort of, I, I'd say, it has a more ambient vibe to it. It, it has a lake, and, and the weather is much more, you know, somber in, in some sense. So it's. It's cooler, it fits the music better in my opinion, than like a pretty place with a beautiful house and a park. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. What about any other festivals? Do you attend something else? I, I might, but I don't know. I, I'm not volunteering for anything else. I mean, so. I wanted to attend Go next weekend, but I don't think um, I'm going to be able to, because I don't have any money. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, have you been to any big festivals? Like this, this year? <laughs> Just generally, previous oh, yeah, year or yeah, some yeah. time ago? Uh, like a few, yeah, in, in, in Tallinn especially, like Tallinn Music Week and events like that. But like those really big festivals aren't really that attractive because they're like super busy always, you know, they have a lot of, you know, uh, 
uh, people that are really fucked up and you know. I mean, uh, honestly, I I haven't really been because like yeah. people my age go to either in um, Sikurumu or like the weekend when it was still a thing, but I like yeah. never went. So I mean, I haven't had the big festival experience, but I I like these ones. I like the small ones. But so about this one, do you anticipate some performance or is just general vibe that you came for? No, we, we, we're just vibing, but there is a lot of cool artists here that we actually know and want to listen to. Like, Plus, yeah. I think we also have the aspect that uh, since we're volunteering, we can also like speak to the artists and yeah, like talk so to them yeah. and like get along. So I think that's, yeah, that's, cool, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. They have the courage to express themselves. They have the courage to express themselves, so it's like nice to hear their story and how they like exactly. make and music and create. Uh, about the previous one, uh, was there more people? Or do you think like this virus thing affected somehow this festival movement? Honestly, there are more people this yeah. year. Exactly. There's yeah, I feel like people want to get out. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, like it's it's not a big festival anyways, and uh, you know because of the location and uh, and the you know the length of the festival is like 12 hours or something that. You know, not a lot of people show up, but the ones that do, you know, they they come here and they stay here for the whole day and they just like hang around and listen to all of the artists. You know, a lot of people have brought their like own chairs and stuff and sleeping bags and they just like lay on the ground and, and just like listen to the music and chill. Yeah, yeah, me too. I actually bought, bought a sleeping bag last year and now it's the first chance to test it actually. So. Nice. I'm really glad. Right. Also, there's a camping area, so yeah. I mean, you can <laughs> test it out in your. Yeah, tent. We, we already put our tents there. So. Nice. Right. Thank you very much and yeah. enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, do you mind a small interview? For okay. Yeah. yeah. So uh, it was a uh, cool performance. We really enjoyed and like, yeah, thank you for that. <laughs> I translated the uh, anthology of Native American poetry and. Uh, it was kind of a hearing play at the first part, and uh, uh, still some some Estonian folk songs are si bit similar to no Northern American folk songs. I made a connection. I made my own melodies based on archaic Estonian singing, and, and added some uh, kind of choice sounds, whatever. So, uh, do you think it originates back from those times that these mm. uh, peoples were uh, the same? Uh, there is theory that where we were. We kind of uh, first home was some part of Siberia where Feno Ugric people moved this way yeah. and the Indians made over the Bering Strait to America and also to a some of them went to Asia so there are many cultures which have similar patterns in their pots similar motives in the fairy tales and etc etc it's kind of 4000 years back okay. kind of basic culture they so say so yeah, we originate all from one. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. So uh, and um, uh, how was like the process of making the music for for this kind of poetry? Mm. I had some melodies in dream even. It's, it's that's also Native Americans are doing. I have there was one melody I that came to me in dream and I made the beats. And there was a cat purring as a loop. I, I had a small cat, I'm very fond of cats, and I used cat purring as a loop, for example. Or made, made the rhythms with a dictaphone, cassette dictaphone, manipulating it rhythmically. Wow, so you do a lot of experimentation, probably. And I also sing very old songs. I, I'm singing in two traditional choirs, so I have, I have this background also. Because they are, their melodies are not uh, in major, minor, minor, major, minor scale, but but in between, in this old Seto culture of Estonia, they were Russian Orthodox, and they were um, their language is uh, as different as from Estonian as Finnish. It's kind of a very well dialect, and it helps with music. You have different rhythms because of the language.
Sigurmu? Yeah. Or have I been once? Yeah, I think I have been once. Uh, and I saw Edki Paranoia there. But it was a while ago, a long while ago. And uh, it was like a much bigger stage than here and totally different feeling and he had a different style. Uh, and I, But I remember him as one of the most interesting ones there. Actually, no, I think I've been to Insigurmo twice. It's weird, but I... The second time? I think the second time was... Have I actually been twice? It's weird. I remember there was a festival in Estonia that I didn't go. <laughs> but I wanted to go there. It was like near Tallinn somewhere on the beach, on the coast. And it was, I think, last July, the end of last July, I guess. It, it looked very cool. I don't remember the name or the artists or anything. I just remember that I thought that it's gonna be cool. But I had tickets for Ukraine because I, I had to go there. That's why I didn't come. But I, I would like to know the destiny of this festival, what's going on with it. Maybe there will be some, something this year.